Traveling in Malaysia has completely taken us by surprise. We had no idea what we were walking into and these are the things that shocked us while we were there. We only had a small amount of time there and we wish we had more because one of the things that was very nice to see is that there's a little bit of luxury, at least in Kuala Lumpur, and it was very affordable for mm -hmm. us. It was like the perfect balance of like, it's luxurious, there's these beautiful buildings and really nice apartments and nice malls, but then somehow, even though it was so luxurious, it was also insanely affordable to travel there. Yeah, I'm just thinking about like the times that we have walked in the really nice parks to see the really cool buildings, mm -hmm. but then we could also go find a little street that has uh, food for prices like, that we just couldn't find anywhere else in the world. It was crazy and so cool, and I just love that it has both of those two things. It just makes traveling there super easy and convenient. Yeah, and another thing that makes it extremely easy and convenient, at least for us, is that so many things in the places that we went to were in English, like the road signs, mm -hmm. the food signs, everything we could just read. Not everything, but most things we could just read and understand right away. And everyone spoke English so well. And even you guys that are commenting on our YouTube channel, like usually we have to like translate a ton of the comments from like German or Finnish or whatever, but like every single comment has been in English and it just does make our life so much easier when we're traveling somewhere where people speak English perfectly. Yeah, I guess we just weren't really expecting that like 100% like going into it, but then it's like, wow, this is this is so nice. Oh my gosh, this next one, the food. The food was so good and again, so cheap, which just makes everything taste better. Like if I'm eating a dollar street noodles, it's going to taste better than any dish I paid $20 for. Like Yeah. I agree. Yeah, it's just so good. <laughs> yeah, whenever uh, we can find some really good street food, that's when we're our happiest mm -hmm. because it's like, wow, we don't have to go in a restaurant and sit down and be worried about ordering the cheapest thing on the menu. We can just get whatever food mm -hmm. we want. And we, a lot of it if we wanted to. And a lot of it, yeah. Our last video with, uh, <laughs> with just trying as many Malaysian foods that we could, we were just shocked by the end of the day to see just how little we had spent on the food and how full we were because we just wanted to keep eating all of it. And there's so many different like kinds of food in Malaysia. Like it mm -hmm. felt like there was like Indian food and like then like noodles and rice and just like a total variety of food, which was really cool. Yeah, I don't think, I mean, yes, we did only spend a short amount of time in Malaysia, but we definitely could have spent way longer and we probably wouldn't have been tired of it at all. We need to go back to Malaysia very soon. We will be back. Another thing we noticed about Kuala Lumpur is that it is massive. Huge. Like, yes, there are the really tall skyscrapers and of course mm -hmm. that sticks out, but then also just as far as the city itself, it's so expansive. It's so wide. It took us so long to like get places. Like we would be in the car for like 30 minutes to like an hour anytime we wanted to go from like one place to another place. And, and, and really like traffic wasn't the main reason why yeah. it was taking so long. It was just because everything was so far away. Yeah. And we were actually, we're staying in a place, uh, Petling Jaya, that's mm -hmm. next to Kuala Lumpur technically. So we weren't in the exact capital city but i mean it still feels all like all one big part of yeah. it so very big also another thing when we first got in the grab oh, yeah. to like when we came out of the airport and we got a grab in the taxi and then we just started going to our hotel we were like uh it's an hour drive <laughs> an hour from the airport to our hotel i mean it's not a bad thing like there's so much to see and do in kuala lumpur it makes sense that it's so big but yeah it is it's big just took a while to do a lot of things but i mean that's totally fine because we could just take grab everywhere and that's like our next point is that we could get a grab mm -hmm. which is just basically like malaysia's form of a taxi or rideshare app and we could go anywhere we wanted and that was pretty affordable and very convenient so convenient we'd just click it on our phones they'd come pick us up drive us where we needed to go and paid very little for it and mm -hmm. it was great. There is public transportation in Malaysia, like mm -hmm. like all countries, there's buses and trains. And we tried to look it up and see like where the bus was taking us, where the train was, because that's 
what we usually mm -hmm. do in, in most places to, to save some money, but we just learned, okay, maybe it won't be as convenient as just getting picked up in our exact spot and then getting yeah. dropped off exactly where we wanted to be. And it was only a couple of dollars every time we did that. So and it was, it was nice getting yeah. the air conditioning in the car too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. yes, the heat uh, definitely. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't too bad, but it when you're wa we were walking around filming all day, like outside for like eight or nine hours, then it gets to you. And it's like, oh, we could use a little break from, from the sun <laughs> and we'll get in the air conditioning. Hey, yeah, so that would be definitely our recommendation. We should, you should just take grab when you're going around the city. Yeah, it's super like, easy. Yeah. I feel like when you're going to a place, what really makes it or breaks it is how nice the people are or how helpful they are. And sometimes I can just totally ruin a place. Thankfully, that was not the case in Malaysia. Everyone was very kind, very helpful. They all spoke English. It was great. Even you guys commenting on our YouTube videos. We love reading your comments. We love hearing your thoughts about Malaysia or the food that we're trying and just hearing from you guys, the locals is great. And even if you're not from Malaysia, thank you so much for watching and commenting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even just like walking on the street, talking to really anybody, like, and it was just such a fun time. Mm -hmm. Like our grab drivers were nice and helpful and so were the people just that we interacted with all throughout the days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was so, great. so cool. And back to our uh, like first point about it feeling kind of luxurious. What made it feel that way partially is that the city is so clean yeah the city is so clean i don't i didn't have very many expectations going in but you know some cities are really clean some cities are dirty some are a little bit of both but mm -hmm. kuala lumpur was way cleaner than maybe what i was expecting i wasn't really expecting <laughs> anything though so i guess it was just so clean though and that's so nice. I hate seeing trash on the streets. It makes me so sad for the environment. I hate watching people litter. That literally hurts my heart. <laughs> Don't yeah. litter. Yeah, I mean, just for, for some context, we actually weren't planning on going to Malaysia just mm -hmm. because we didn't think it would work with our schedule. We had some last minute changes and we're like, oh, we get to go somewhere mm -hmm. that like we've thought about going for a while and now we actually get and to do it, yeah. but we didn't do it like really any research before we got there. So it was just fun seeing all of this for, for the very first yeah. time and, and getting to see what our impressions are of the city and what surprised us. And it was I just think great. it, all, it yeah. all just turned out really well. And even though we weren't here for very long, it's like, okay, that it totally makes sense that, to come back. Yeah, uh, we at, definitely have to come at back. At some point and go to a bunch of other cities too. But we are kind of staying in Malaysia just a little bit. <laughs> Not really, but we are, our next video will be in Singapore. So it's like the very little bottom part of Malaysia there. It's a totally <laughs> different country, but we love Singapore. We love Malaysia. We hope that you'll subscribe and watch our Singapore adventures and some really fun places after that too.